From the WKYC Digital Broadcast Center, this is Channel 3 News. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Monica Robbins. Another. All right, thanks, Bruce. Well, today is Diabetes Awareness Day, and joining me now is Ann Williams, a nurse diabetes educator at the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing at Case Western Reserve University, and her friend Yoda. All right, Ann, why is diabetes awareness so important to you? Well, it's important to me both professionally and personally. Professionally, because I've been a diabetes educator for 20 years, and I have known literally thousands of people with diabetes. And too many people have diabetes complications. And if diabetes is diagnosed properly and controlled well, we could have far lower rates of complications than what we have. How were you diagnosed? I actually diagnosed my own diabetes. I was already a diabetes educator. I knew I was at risk because there are many people in my family with diabetes. Uh, my grandmother had diabetes, my mother, and several of my aunts and uncles. And so when I reached a time when I was beginning to develop diabetes symptoms, I knew I was at risk and I recognized them pretty much right away. And because I was already a diabetes educator, I took my blood sugar and I decided I'd better tell my doctor that I already had diabetes. Oh boy, so I assume you went on medication after that and uh, yes, the gamut? Yes, <laughs> yes, very, very soon afterwards. I, uh, by the time I diagnosed myself, diet and exercise already weren't working. And so I did go on first oral medications and shortly after insulin. Real quick, tell me about Yoda. Yoda has some special training. Yoda does. He is a diabetes alert dog. And what that means is, if my blood sugar is going too low, Yoda lets me know. He often knows before even I know that I'm having symptoms of lows. So does he start barking and then you know to take he, your insulin? He actually, he's very quiet. If you're in a room with us when it happens, you might not even notice. But he will come up and start nudging me, and if I don't pay attention, he'll put his paws on my leg and kind of paw at me and work to get my attention. One of the complications you mentioned, you know, diabetes does have a lot of complications. One of them is blindness, and you're working on a study relating to the insulin pen and the blind. Tell me about that. Well, an insulin pen is a way of delivering insulin that's very discreet and very simple. An insulin pen looks something like an old-fashioned fountain pen, but instead of having ink inside, it has insulin inside. And it's used by putting a needle on one end and on the other end turning a knob that clicks as it turns. It's a very discreet and simple way of administering insulin. And most of the insulin pens sold in the United States contain a disclaimer that they should not be used by visually impaired people. Now, 10 years of my life as a diabetes educator, I worked at Cleveland Sight Center and I'm very aware of what visually impaired people can and cannot do. And I'm aware that that disclaimer is there not because visually impaired people can't use the pen, but because there's not any research data out there showing that they can. So I'm planning to do a research project that would demonstrate and provide the evidence for whether or not blind people can really use an insulin pen accurately. Real quick, Cleveland has a high prevalence of diabetes. What are the symptoms people should watch for and what do you want them to do? People who have family members, blood relatives with diabetes, who are inactive, who are overweight, and who are over the age of 45 are all considered at risk of diabetes. Also people who have diagnosed high blood pressure are considered at risk. And anybody who has risk factors for diabetes should see their doctor and make sure that they have their blood sugar checked at least once a year, more often if it's approaching levels that might be diagnosable as diabetes. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Ann Williams, for uh, all of your help and all of your education. And thank you, Yoda. Thank you. All right. Straight ahead this midday, we keep showing you the video coming up. We'll